Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to talk about the WhatsApp hack recently and what you can do to prevent it. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the recent WhatsApp hack and the update, which is hopefully going to prevent that happening in the future. So if you're a WhatsApp user, which it's quite possible you are because there's 1.5 billion users registered. So it's quite possible that some of you subscribers are actually users of WhatsApp. So basically what has happened is there is a vulnerability in the WhatsApp app, which has allowed somebody, in this case, it appears to be a single company or organization that have singled out certain individuals in our community and have tried to hack their phones and basically get more information on them. So for the majority of people, this isn't going to affect you. But if you're concerned, like I have been, and you want to prevent this from happening to you, or you want to find out if it has happened already, these are the steps you're going to need to take. So the first thing to do is to make sure that you've got the very latest version of the WhatsApp app. So in order to do that, it's a very simple process for Android, iPhone, even Windows users. All you need to go is to your relevant store, or your app store, and make sure that you've got the latest version. Now I'm going to be doing this on my Nokia 8, which is running Android, so I'll be showing you this on the Play Store. If for any reason you're struggling to find out where the information is on your particular device, please feel free to put something in the comments section below and I'll try and help you as best I can. But this is a general overview of how to search or how to replace the app with the latest version. So the first thing you need to do is to go into your App Store. So like I said, I'm going to go into the Play Store and there's various ways you can do this. Now, one way is to click on the three bars in the top left-hand corner, and you can go into My Apps and Games, and then you can go onto Installed Apps, and then just scroll down until you find WhatsApp, which, because it's a W, should be pretty near to the bottom. So there we go, WhatsApp Messenger. So if I click on WhatsApp Messenger, and then it shows you the app that's installed and the version that you've got. Now, I'm currently on the 10th of May version, which is the, the safest version currently. If for any reason on this page, you've got the option where it says update, make sure you press the update button. That way you will have the very latest version. Now, an alternative method of doing this is if you go back to the Google Play Store, you can quite simply type in the top WhatsApp and WhatsApp Messenger should appear. And again, that will take you to exactly the same page. So if yours says open, that means you've got the latest version installed. If it says update, just run the update and let it do its thing. That will prevent you having any problems in the future, well, hopefully, and make sure you've got the latest version. But you're also going to need to do is to check that you haven't actually got anything on your phone already. Now, one way of doing this, if you open the app itself and you look in the calls section, if you've got some calls in there from some unknown numbers, it's potentially possible that you have been infected. This is the way that they have actually gained access. So it's with an unknown number and they've used a vulnerability in the calls section to compromise your device. So if you've got some strange or unknown numbers listed in there, this is definitely worth searching and to see if you actually have got any problems. So for me personally, as you know on the channel, I like to do things as cheaply as possible. So what I've used is the Bitdefender free antivirus scanner. So again, if we go into the Play Store, in the top there, just search for Bitdefender Free. As you can see, it's in one of my uh, searches already, and you can install the Bitdefender Antivirus Free. So if you click on that, install it if it doesn't say install already, and then just click on Open, and it will take you to the antivirus software. And this is a really simple piece of software which will help protect your device, not only from WhatsApp vulnerabilities, but from other vulnerabilities that may be out there on your particular device or in your ecosystem. So all you need to do is you can click on uh, Start Scan and it will simply go through and it will scan your device. And this will give you the option at the bottom there, as you can see, you've also got the option to scan storage. Now, if you like the app and you want to buy the full version, there is an option for it, but it's not entirely necessary. But you can just let this go ahead and it will scan your system. This will actually remain resident on your system in the background protecting you from possible malware attacks and other virus things that could go wrong with your machine or your device. So as you can see, it's done a scan, I'm safe, I'm up to date, and everything is working as it should be. So there's some pretty simple ways of making sure that your device is A, up to date, and B, is protected from 
future possible vulnerabilities. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been How To Secure Your Phone. This is particularly on the Android version, but again, it works for pretty much most devices. So any questions, put them in the comments section below and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.